Good design is not purely creative, it's creative mixed with problem solving. I'm Matthew Hilton and I run a design studio in South East London. We looked at a lot of chef's knives and we felt you could do all the jobs you need to in the kitchen at home with three knives. A medium size knife, a paring knife and a bread knife. We realised that the design of the handle could be a lot simpler than is often the case. We don't need the fake ergonomics, the kind of places for your fingers, the indents that are often there. During our research, we were introduced to a book which describes the pinch grip, which is holding the blade between your thumb and forefinger. And that grip gives a lot more control and precision to your cutting. In the process of developing the blade, we produced near to 100 different cardboard and paper models with very slight variations of curve and flat and heel and depth of blade and so on to test the differences. Because of the pinch grip and the way you use a knife, the geometry of that blade ends up not being an aesthetic decision. It's a pragmatic decision. It's about the use of the knife and its efficiency in cutting. We'd noticed Crane was producing some very nice looking, very simple cast iron cook pots, which is the kind of thing that we as a studio liked. So we contacted them to see if we could do some work together. At Crane, we focus on um, handcrafted production methods combined with state-of-the-art technology because our purpose is to produce products that have a long-lasting value. For our first meeting with the studio, Matthew explained to us about a particular knife that he was really fond of in his kitchen drawer. It's like his go-to knife. And it led to a really great conversation actually with all of us about what we find useful in a knife. We really just felt like we all connected. For this project, we decided to work with Taylor's Eyewitness. I think it's important to really support British industry and British production and it was nice to find something that was local. When our ancestors came down the trees, the first tool they invented was a knife. You can't prepare even a basic healthy meal without at least one good knife. Taylor's Eyewitness was founded by a guy called John Taylor, who in 1838 registered the Eyewitness trademark. During the mid-60s, my family became involved in the business, and so we continue the tradition of making knives here in Sheffield. We've got an interesting combination of hand craft skills allied to precision, engineering, grinding, is really, really super accurate. The main thing I liked about the knife was the simplicity of its construction. A really nice shape and the handle was comfortable and it was just a nice workmanlike feel about it. After going through this process, we've had it around in our homes now for a while and we're very pleased with it and we'd like to try and find a way to get it into production.